Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. This is my response to an early, earlier video I did where I did a review of the Sky Art pa Landscape Painter of the Year, Season 8, Episode 1. And what the painters did was they painted the North Pier at, at Blackpool. And so I'm going to be doing that this in the next few weeks where I'm going to be painting my own response to each one of the episodes. I'm going to do a review of the episodes and I'm going to paint my own response because I like to pretend because why not virtually pretend that you're participating and I take my hats off to all these painters because if I had to have people watching me paint it, it, it things would not go well. I have to be completely quiet. I need to have my music on. I have my whole thing. So this is I'm never going to critique one of these artists. They have way more uh, confidence than I'll ever have. But what I wanted to do was uh, do it because it's going to be fun. So the first thing I had to do was transport myself to Blackpool <laughs> because I live in Vermont. <laughs> so Vermont, USA. So uh, the best I could do was go to Google and get some images. This is the North Pier at Blackpool. I think I got three or four images, maybe a couple more. I'm go And I'm probably going to do another response, but I was pretty happy with this one. Um, and then what I did was I also uh, looked at some other paintings of the pier. It's a little cheap, I have to admit. But one of the questions I had, I made a little note of some of the questions I had about the series. Here we go. So what I did first was I thought, all right, these contestants, they don't all live in Blackpool, so they have to show up at Blackpool. At some point, they have to know that they're going to Blackpool. So if I knew that I was going to be painting in Blackpool, because you have to know at least the day before, right? Because you got to travel there. So if I find out I'm going to be in Blackpool, and I suspect you have to know more than the day before, I'm going to be doing my research like crazy. I'm going, which means at the very least, I'm going to be practicing painting sand and sea and sky. Enough said. I do think some, these people have some heads up of where they're going. Um, and I think that I would be studious about preparing myself just strategically about the location. I tried to deep dive on, on, a very, on a few locations on the interwebs to try to figure out how much these people know. And although I found out a lot about um, some other ridiculous television like 90 Day Fiance and the Housewife people, um, you know, this is not one of those high grossing programs that people are very interested in, in terms of deep diving. So I, I couldn't find out. but you know, maybe eventually I will. And as soon as I do, I'll let you know. So anyway, my first thing is how much time do they have to prepare and do they practice ahead of time? And I think they probably do kind of like what I just did get on Google and look at some resource photos and start to sort of let something gel in my mind about what I would do. The next thing I think that you have to do because Google images, you know, they're great and everything, but look at this, for example, this is the, image I was working from. And I think with any landscape, and this is my opinion, this is only my opinion, is you have to decide if something's going to be um, about this, the land or the sky. And this is equally divided half and half. See, this is land and then up here is sky. And for me, I know that's not going to make a really interesting painting. So I had to decide for myself, do I want it to be more about the sea or more about the sky? And I decided I want to make it more about the sky. The next thing I want to do is look at the sky and I said to myself, ooh, that is not tremendously exciting or a lot of information. And so I want to pump it up. I think about some of the basic shapes, but then I also invent some of the basic shapes. And like I said, I'm going to add quite a bit of color to the sky because I know that most of this pier is going to be pretty neutral in terms of color. The other thing that I find that, I, I find a preference for, I was going to say have to do, but I'm going to say preference for, is if you have something that is so full of horizontals, and I know there are a lot of verticals in the pier, but they don't really appear as verticals. Uh, they really appear as a, a complete horizontal. You've got horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. That makes for uh, that kind of response to a painting. I didn't yawn on, that wasn't a real yawn, that was an acting yawn. So what you have to do is somehow get some diagonals in there. And so I know that I'm going to make this, if you follow my finger, I'm going to do that and cut it off and make a diagonal. I know I need to do that. So that's what I always do with photographs is use the photograph. But then what I want to do is see, can I make the painting better than the photograph? Maybe I don't mean to say better, but definitely different. 
otherwise you know in my opinion this channel is all about my opinion where I get to do this is otherwise why paint at all just take a photograph and be done with it so I'm going to show you my finished entry and then I'm going to do a very speeded up time lapse of as I painted the entry which you may or may not want to watch and maybe I'll put music on it I don't know but I'm not going to talk I don't think I'm planning on talking over it but anyway here's my response if I was contestant in this episode and there is my Blackpool Pier and you can see what I did I made that diagonal happen I simplified these shapes and kept them neutral but you can see the difference I made it about the sky it's way more about the sky than it is about anything else but I felt like I really needed to do that and I th and you know I think that um, I think that's the fun of being an artist is you get to make those decisions about presentation so I'm pretty happy with my entry I'm sure it wouldn't have won <laughs> let's be clear about this <laughs> there's no way that my entry would win but I feel like it's adequate and I feel like it is indeed um, uh, completed the assignment so to speak and there's nothing more I like to do than be a good student and finish an assignment so this is like I said episode one and now I'm going to do a really fast time lapse of me doing that painting and then we're going to go on to episode two of season eight I'm not even sure where that is yet and I'll do a review showing the different paintings and then I will paint my own response and if you want to do it along with me that would be really fun so um, remember oh remember my tagline which is remember to keep the white to your paper white your paints wet mask for color I said it wrong it's been so long since I've done this oh my goodness so what is it it's remember to keep the whites of your paper white because we're dealing with watercolor and once you lose your white you can't get it back so keep the whites of your paper white your paints wet yeah paints wet means that you're painting all the time if your paints stay wet so keep the whites of your paper white your paints wet mass for value meaning find your masses and then determine how light or dark they are and mix for color make sure that you're always applying color and not letting everything become just neutralized and dull so remember to keep the whites of your paper white your paints wet mask for value mix for color and join my youtube channel and i'll see you next time bye bye i dreamed you i saw your face Caught my lifeline when drifting through space. I saw an angel, I saw my fate. I can only thank God it was not too late. Over mountains. I floated away Across an ocean I dreamed her name I followed an angel Down through the gates I can only thank God It was not too late Sing a little song of loneliness, sing one to make me smile. Another round for everyone, I'm here for a little while. Now I'm walking this street on my own. But she's with me everywhere I go. Yeah, I found an angel I found my place I can only thank God it was not too late I can only thank God it was not too late I can only thank God it was not too late
I dreamed you I saw your face Caught my lifeline When drifting through space I saw an angel I saw my faith I can only thank God it was not too late Over mountains I floated away Across an ocean I dreamed her name I followed an angel down through the gates. I can only thank God it was not too late. Sing a little song of loneliness, sing one to make me smile. Another round for everyone, I'm here for a little while. Now I'm walking this street on my own But she's with me everywhere I go Yeah, I found an angel I found my place I can only thank God it was not too late. I can only thank God it was not too late. I can only thank God it was not.